April 20th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms, Chapter 41 of the Old Testament. How blessed is the one who treats the poor properly. When trouble comes, the Lord delivers him. May the Lord protect him and save his life. May he be blessed in the land. Do not turn him over to his enemies. The Lord supports him on his sickbed. You completely heal him from his illness. As for me, I said, O Lord, have mercy on me, heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies ask this cruel question about me. When will he finally die and be forgotten? When someone comes to visit, he pretends to be friendly. He thinks of ways to defame me, and when he leaves, he slanders me. All who hate me whisper insults about me to one another. They plan ways to harm me. They say an awful disease overwhelms him, and now that he is bedridden, he will never recover. Even my close friend, whom I trusted, he who shared meals with me, has turned against me. As for you, O Lord, have mercy on me, and raise me up so I can pay them back. By this I know that you are pleased with me, for my enemy does not triumph over me. As for me, you uphold me because of my integrity. You allow me permanent access to your presence. The Lord God of Israel deserves praise in the future and forevermore. We agree. We agree. God, we've all had people in our lives who are like this, who who seem to just enjoy frustrating us and talking behind our backs or gossiping or whatever it is that, that delights them in watching us squirm or fail or get frustrated. And I just wanted to take a moment today, God, and pray for them. It's hard to be on the receiving end of that, but it must be so much harder to be the person doing it. To come from a place where your heart is that hurt and that pained and that full of anger or jealousy or whatever it is for them that they actually think it's okay to do these types of things. To falsely accuse somebody, to slander somebody's name, to make fun of somebody else. How much pain must a person be in to get to that point that they think that that is okay? God, I just pray for their hearts today. I pray that somehow that they are able to see the pain that they're causing at the same time that you're able to heal the pain that they're in. God, I just pray that they not inflict any more pain on anyone else. Whether this is through bullying or comments made on Facebook or private messages or phone calls, whatever it is, that it will just stop. And that they will have an opportunity with you to heal their heart, to heal that pain, to heal that bitterness to heal that anger where all of this is coming from. God, I'm just so sad for them that this makes sense to them in their world. Thank you. In your son's name I pray. Amen.